We interrupt our regularly scheduled programming to bring you a special report from Consequence of Sound. I uh, looked back and I just heard the worst screams I've ever heard in my life. I was wearing a white dress that day. I remember specifically. It could have been me. It was just body fluids. All of them. Everywhere. What is... Oh, no! Ah, and then just pandemonium. I actually have a disorder that causes me to pass out um, anytime I'm around... around poo. <laughs> August 8th, 2004. That was the day that the tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band opened its septic tank and dumped 800 pounds of raw sewage into the Chicago River and atop some unlucky recipients. But more importantly, that day is also seen as a stain on the soul of the city of Chicago. A brown stain with flecks of yellow and green. While the bus driver, Stephen Wohl, was sentenced to 18 months of probation 150 hours of community service and a $10,000 fine. The unsavory memory still lingers with those who witnessed it and those who experienced it firsthand. We meet one of those eyewitnesses right now. Uh, it was a summer day in August. I was biking downtown to my job in the Loop. Um, and I happened to stop on the bridge. It was behind a tour bus. Um, I thought maybe it was Prince. I'm from Minneapolis, so most times I think it's Prince. I saw people covered in what I thought at the time was molasses. Um, it was kind of brown and stringy and, and, and gooey. Uh, the bus kind of peeled out and, and didn't stop. Kind of a devil may care attitude from the bus driver, if you ask me. Um, saw some of the people on the boat and it wasn't molasses, it was, it was poop. Another eyewitness who 11 years later remains emotional. Well, I remember really clearly because I was actually on this bridge. Um, my parents were visiting and we were talking about what to do. So I uh, suggested we take a look and, and look at one of the architecture boats. That could be fun and see if they'd be interested. We looked right here and saw a bus stopping, which was odd because the traffic kept moving. and. We, we, you know, run to the other side and everyone is covered in this brown stuff. And my dad goes, honey, that's poop. Uh, my immediate reaction was uh, gross. Just really, this is pretty gross. They pooped on them. That, that could have been me and my family. That could have been me. What kind of band takes poops on their tour bus? And then for the bus driver to just get fed up and make a political statement like he did? I mean, nothing gets done without Dave's permission. Nothing. He is the king of his castle. And he must have told the bus driver to do it. I don't blame the bus driver. He probably makes, what, $10 an hour? I mean, if I were to get pooped on by one musical artist of the 1990s, I would probably have to pick Dave Matthews. It'd probably a toss-up between them and Linkin Park. Earlier Linkin Park. Not that later rap rock stuff with Jay-Z. I just, just thinking about it, I get emotional sometimes. Poop on everybody. There was poop on everybody. I was wearing a white dress that day. I remember specifically. It could have been me. But those who witnessed the tragic event could still walk away clean. Those on the boat, however, can still hear the screams and still feel the lingering presence of what has been dubbed Poopgate. Uh, hi, I'm Rob Grabowski. Uh, my family was in town. My sister, my dad, and my mom. I was kind of running out of things to do, and everyone's like, take the architectural tour. It's great. And it was. It was a really good tour until that. I believe we're heading south on the river, passing underneath the uh, the bridge. Uh, I happened to just kind of look up like this, and then I felt some drips and some drops, and then a whole just what felt like a bucket full on my face. You know how people say they've been in a shit storm? Like, this was actually a shit storm. Like, have you ever... I can't describe what it's like to have something rain down on you and then you realize it's human waste. Everyone was hit. It was like a poop massacre. There were no survivors. It's a lot of screaming, a lot of shock. Um, there was also some vomiting, which... Um, and you know, once one person starts vomiting, it's sort of a chain reaction. 
It was just body fluids, all of them, everywhere. I saw a little glimmer of, of sunshine shine through the grates on the bridge, and, and I saw it as a glimmer of light and hope, uh, because when the shitstorm came through the grates shortly after the boat passed under the bridge, um, I discovered something about myself. Uh, see, what happened was once um, all the shit fell, uh, I instantly passed out. Poo everywhere, all over, you know, chunks of corn and in my hair. It was like, it was like a Jackson Pollock of, of shit. So I'm, I missed most of the commotion, but what I discovered was that I actually have a disorder that causes me to pass out um, anytime I'm around, around poo. So I'm thankful for this experience, for giving me that. And now I know uh, I need to avoid the porter potties at, at concerts or, or street festivals. Um, I know that when I get diarrhea, it'll, it'll probably be a, a difficult time for me. While the Dave Matthews Band has donated $50,000 to the Chicago Park District because of the incident, none of these victims have received any financial compensation or even free tickets to a Dave Matthews concert. It took me a good year to get on a boat again. And I think, I think until maybe the day I die, I'll always be hesitant to walk under a bridge, or at least travel under a bridge. I definitely uh, have a unique uh, collection of colognes and deodorants, and I always, I always have some baby wipes on me and lots of Purell, 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 Purell. I don't trust, I don't trust any vehicle on that bridge, because I know it's like, what are the odds of it happening again? But once you've gone through it, you don't want to take that risk. I, like, again, like I said, I view that experience as a, as a positive one for me. Uh, so yeah, I, I usually, when I have friends in town, um, you know, we, uh, we come, we, we, uh, if I can, I get the, the boat driver to stop there. I take a little picture with my friends, you know, a little selfie, and uh, you know, we Instagram it. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I have a little wall in my, in my apartment of uh, you know, me with all my friends on, on the poo boat. Uh, so I, it's great, yeah. Oh, you know, I go to therapy about three times a week. Mr. Bus Driver, how dare you? How dare you? We're just trying to enjoy a nice time. You really made me consider my fandom of the Dave Matthews Band, and I do not appreciate that, sir. I hope you think about how hard it is for me to tell people this story, which is the single most traumatic impact of my life, and how I watch their faces, and they're trying not to laugh. They can't even take me seriously. And as you, Dave Matthews Band, man, just keep doing what you do. I love it. I love that live at the uh, Colorado CD. What's it called? Who knows? I get it. Everybody poops. But everybody poops in a bathroom. You disgusting man. Anytime you want to come back to Chicago and, I don't know, maybe take a deuce on my chest, whatever you need, man, I'm there for you. Thank you. For everything. Really. You saved my life. Finally, several attempts were made to reach the bus driver, Mr. Wool, for comment on this issue with no success. It would seem that Mr. Wool no longer gives two shits. I'm Sammy Jerush. Good night and good. Uh, good, 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 good luck. This has been a special report from Consequence of Sound.